hello good afternoon so a little bit of a cloudy day here but not too cold not rainy pretty happy so you are surrounded by apartments and condos here um, there's a sign there that says guest parking so guest parking is over there so carport for everyone here and then basically it's kind of a security door here I've been up to the unit already okay and that's definitely that was hard to leave it where it wouldn't latch it's it's gonna close behind you um, so obviously emergency exit out there and this I'm sure was the front of the building at one time but now they've got kind of a security you know area here so and down the hill in that direction there's some lower income housing to be sure all right so Here's your stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up to this one. There's a couple doors there. And then you go up again. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Turn and the view here. If it's a view. 18, right? 19, 20, 21, 22. 24, 25, 26, like she said, 26 stairs. So, okay, and then of course 35 is next to you. I left the door unlocked. All the staging has been removed because they thought it was sold. So what we have is just kind of a, I don't know what year this was built. It feels like 1976, maybe a little older, 71 or something with the doorknobs and then the, it's just got the cheap doors and cheap trim and then somebody did do some new trim here and you can see how it's higher than the, than the flooring because there used to be carpet here and they replaced it with this, uh, the LVP, it looks like the luxury vinyl plank flooring. Still have the original uh, vinyl entry there. Pretty sure that's vinyl. Oh no, that's, wait. <laughs> I think that's grouted vinyl tile. So, baseboard heat. You do have a real wood fireplace. Okay, it must be ceramic. I'm wrong, it must be a ceramic tile. Just felt smooth like vinyl but they wouldn't have vinyl around a fireplace now would they okay so here's your view and like if you're sitting down right you're gonna have a pretty view even while you're sitting on the couch it's even better I guess because you don't have the building in front of you so dining area there it's just a very plain apartment right well condo Pretty retro kitchen. Turn the light. And it's all enclosed. There, you don't have any, you know, it's a, what am I trying to say? It's a dead end kitchen. It's not a galley kitchen. So, so your views basically are front, and they talked about this um, door getting replaced. Apparently the owner pays half and then the HOA pays half when the, when the seal is fogged up like that. So you do have a little balcony, I'll step out there in a minute. But basically all of your views are here from the living room and dining room and then if you're turning around in the kitchen. So it's a really big living area. And the floors are not 100% level. I don't, I'm not really concerned with the structure of the building per se, but just so you know, the floors are not 100% level. Okay, bathroom there, and then the two bedrooms on this end facing out to the parking lot. Okay, so this is a pretty narrow bedroom. They do have new carpet in here. It's just, you wouldn't be looking out your window very much here. It's kind of a, you'd keep the shears closed or the blinds closed. This is your average closet. You have your all-in-one washer and dryer there. We were talking about that in the last place, though. 
And this is the master. And so it does have a walk-in closet and its own bathroom. And it's pretty cramped quarters in here. So. That's at one of those showers where you just kind of pull in your wings and turn around. Not very big. So. And those must be what, 18 inch tiles? So there's about two feet, less than two feet between the cupboard and the, and the wall there. So a little bit on the, on the cramped side, close quarters for sure. Used to be some bifold doors here that somebody took down. Okay, so the master itself is really quite small. It's probably 10 by 10, I'm guessing. And then the other bathroom here, it is a full bath. You do have a lot more elbow room and floor space here. It's just a old brass kind of fixture there. So there's nothing fancy about this unit at all, inside or out. It's purely functional and livable and you could make it fancier. We step out on the balcony here. So when other people are out on their balconies, everyone says hi. <laughs> Over there in that direction is the lower income neighborhood that I was talking about. So lots of dupe of the old World War II duplexes over there. And the neighborhood's improving, as is all of Bremerton. But some of them were really run down a few years ago, especially. It's turning around, but, but it's taking some time. Okay, that's the unit. <laughs>